the tea? I heard you wanna. What's the tea? Heard you wanna. The tea, like me. What's the tea? What, 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 what's the tea? Hey, what's going on, y'all? And welcome to What's the Tea with the Sebastian Bonet. I'm your host, Sebastian Bonet. Um, I am in Orlando. Uh, first off, one time to my family, you see I'm rocking my Bonet Power shirt um, to all the Bonets out there. Uh, I want to give a special thank you uh, to two very special people. I came down to Orlando for a wonderful interview with Ed Tran, um, you know, post-grad degree and all that good stuff. And it went really well today. And I want to give a special thank you to my son, um, Mr. Chambliss, um, Alexander Bonet, and Ms. Zaria Sanchez. They have allowed uh, myself and my sorority sister to crash at their humble abode. Um, so I do thank them um, abundantly uh, because they didn't have to do it. Uh, well, my son kind of had to, but no, I'm joking. But I thank them very much uh, for their hosp uh, hospitality um, upon this matter. So anyways, um, great interview today. Hopefully I will get the call back within the next week. So um, a friend of mine on Facebook was like, Sebastian. You should do a video regarding gay relationships. And my homeboy is Abe Joshua Khan. And I told you I was going to do a video about this. So, being that I've been in this lifestyle actively, willingly, uh, since I was 14, um, I have some theories <laughs> about this lifestyle. Um, I'm 30 now, so I have tenure, if you will, in this lifestyle. So, um, we're just going to hop directly into it. Um, oftentimes in the gay community, we build relationships off of sex. Um, that might be the straight community as well. Don't know because I'm not straight. Um, but oftentimes, you know, we, we're on A for A, we're on BGC, Men for Now, all these active websites. And we're looking for the physical, and once we find a good physical, we think we can build everything else around the physical. And oftentimes that doesn't work. Um, you know, in layman's terms, honey, you get some good dick, and you think the good dick will sustain for everything else, and it doesn't. And so there's just a few tips that I would suggest. Um, using or thinking about in the midst of um, this lifestyle that we call uh, homosexuality. Um, first off, know who you are. Know who you are and know uh, what you will and will not stand for. If you don't know what you like, if you don't know what the kind of man, the kind of attributes, the kind of characteristics that you want, uh, that you have, you can't Figure out what you want in your mate. So I would suggest spending time with you, spending time with oneself. To me, that was very hard because I'm a people person. I like to hang out. I like to be social. I'm a sociable person, and I had to literally just say, "Hey, I'm not going out. I'm going to spend time with me. I'm going to take me to dinner. I'm going to take me to the movies. I'm going to make me happy." And I got really in touch with myself in more than one way, but I got in touch with myself. So, that would be the first thing. Know you. Know, and oftentimes we say we know ourselves, but we, we, we really don't. So, study you. Study your habits. Because if you've been in several relationships and they have not worked out, not saying it is you, but it could be a good possibility that it is. You know, if you're saying that this person didn't do this, this person didn't do that, this person didn't, well, what did you do to contribute to that relationship not working? Or what didn't you do is a better question to contribute to the relationship uh, not working. But first, know yourself. Know your self-worth. Know what, what, what makes you happy. Know, know you uh, ultimately inside and out. Second part, know what you like. Because sex is a big part of the relationship. Know what you like sexually. This is what has happened to me. And this is my own personal testimony, if you will. If you're a top, know that you're a top. If you're a bottom, know that you're a bottom. And don't make any exceptions. Or if you're a versatile, whatever the case may be. Because this is my problem. Okay. 
I'm 6'5", 265 pounds, mustache, mustache go, uh, goatee, bald head, you see, real sexy, real, you know, debonair. I am technically, I would prefer to be a versatile bottom, right? But I am, a, I am an avid ass eater. I love to, you know, partake in the oral side. Now, what happens is, I find a person with a huge booty, and I fall in love based off the booty. And that might be the heterosexual side of me, <laughs> um, but I fall in love off the booty. Now, oftentimes, the boys that have the booty that I fall in with are complete bottoms. Now, in my mind, I think, okay, I can make it work this time because the sex is good. Yeah, they're complete bottoms, but I can, I can be faithful. I can go the distance this time. I don't. I cheat. Mm hmm Ah, uh, yeah. I cheat. So what I've had to figure out is that, okay, yes, I love eating ass. I love doing all this wonderful stuff. But I need to find somebody that is a versatile, that is a versatile top or versatile something to where I can get some dingling as well. So I have stopped putting myself in a position where I am dating a complete bottom because I know I'm going to cheat because if you're a complete bottom, you can't give me what I need and baby, them toys don't suffice all the time. So, know what you are and don't settle. Don't compromise. You know, sometimes we say, you know, when we're in love, we do things and then, baby, that shit run out real quick. Real, real, real quick. So, know what you like sexually and make sure you find somebody compatible. We're different from the heterosexual lifestyle because... They got a dick and they got a pussy, bam, it goes together. We got the same thing. So you have to have the conversation off bat. You know, even though you're not building it off of sex, but you want to make sure you're compatible. If both of y'all bottom, what are y'all going to do? Bump pussies? Talk about, you know, draperies and shit? Or if y'all two tops, what y'all going to do? Play swords? You know, you have to make sure that you're compatible. Make sure that everything fits where it's supposed to fit. So that would be my tip number two. Uh, tip number three, date. Date. The art of dating is dead. And I feel real old when I ask someone, hey, let me take you out. Let me, let's go to the movies. Let's go to dinner. Let's go to the ballet. Let's go to the theater. Because they look at me strange like, oh, wow. We're dating. We're not just meeting offline and screwing. Which, not to say I have not done. Yeah, I think everybody has done that straight and gay. So don't try to judge me because you look in your own closet like, Behind me. Uh, I actually know the closet is right here. See? Uh-huh. Oh, bitch. See, that's the closet right there. But look in your own closet. You know, don't try to hey, judge man, me. You got a Facebook message. Oh, girl, I got a Facebook message. Um, oh, Tiffany Bonet. Yes, the founder of our legendary family. Anyways. Um, date. Get to know that person physically. Um... Mentally, spiritually, get you know where the head is at. Cause oftentimes you meet somebody and the dick is good or the ass is good or the, you know, it's just it's just so good. And then you really get to know them. You like this MF is really crazy. They don't have all of their faculties. They're a few fries short of a Happy Meal. They're one less tree short in the forest. They're not the sharpest knife in the drawer. Whatever you want to call it, get to know them. Personally, I'm an intellectual person. I I, I love. If I could find a man to, to fuck my mind or make love to my mind first, and then if you can get here and here, you gotta have everything else. Literally, if you can get, you gotta get here. Once you get past here and then get here, baby, the, sure, I don't wanna sound like the Bible, but I will open up the kingdom of everything else, not heaven, but, and I will give you everything. Not everything. I ain't going to give you my social because you might mess up my credit. Because I do have good credit. Um, but, at anyways, um, get to date. Date. Go out. Take a walk on the beach. Go to the movies. Go, 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 go to dinner. And don't go above your means. Now, I know, everybody knows me. knows I'm a frugal type of girl. I don't like spending money if I don't have to. That's just me. I like to save and invest in the future because one day we are young now, but one day we will be old. And one day we will die. We need to have funeral expenses. So, I like to save. I like to put a little, little money aside for a rainy day or for a pride or sizzle or whatever the case may be. But, um, don't try to go outside your means. 
you know, if you if you can't afford filet mignon, bitch, I'll be happy at Boston Market or I like McDonald's. Don't get me wrong, cause they got the best fries. But Wendy's is coming for that ass. They new rustic potato and sea salt fries are the tea. Now that bitch did load it with a lot of salt the other day, but I'm glad I ain't diabetic, cause bitch, I would have been in a uh, diabetic shock. But anyways, um, don't go outside your means. Be honest. Oftentimes, so another thing, tip four, be yourself. I'm just doing off the top of my, off the top of my head of things that have happened to me. Be yourself. Because oftentimes, girl, let me tell you how to do this. is the tea. The girls will put on ass for you, honey. The girls will want you to think that they're balling, that they're rich, that they have all types of coins in the bank. First off, it's the ones that don't say shit. It's the ones that got the coins, honey, baby. You don't have to brag and pull out cards. Now, first off, if you have a debit card, that don't mean you have coins, honey. When you have a nice Amex, Yes, ma'am. That means you have good credit and coins to pay that bill off at the end of the month. Because Amex, baby, you can't pay the minimum balance, bitch. You got to pay the complete thing that you're in charge. But anyways, the girls will put on airs, honey. They will be thugged out, bitch. And I've been somewhat guilty of it, but I'm still technically, I'm not a thug. But because of my statue, I play the role really well. But girl, these girls will put on their Tims, baby, and their jerseys, and their throwbacks, and they... They be thugged out, baby. But as soon as you get that bitch in the bedroom, honey, the motherfucking script just changes. She want to let down her hair and swing it back and forth. And you think you taking a top palm, baby. You think you about to get dug out sickeningly. And the bitch flipped the script and she the first one to tune her ass over. Don't camouflage, baby. If you a bottom or if you a feminine or whatever the case may be, I like, you know, a dude in the street, I guess. I even like a girl. I'm not opposed to dating effeminate dudes or whatever. It's who I fall in love with, who I like. But don't let me see one thing, honey. You in the club just down, just down. You know, got your gold chain on and you just rocking the Tims. You bobbing, grabbing your dick and what's up, son? And you know what I'm saying, my dude and all that. And as soon as we get back to the house, you like, what's the tea, girl? Bitch, no. Kill yourself. Kill, bam, immediately, you know. So be truthful. Represent yourself well, you know. I'm not a big fan of the boys that dress like girls, but are trying to be boys, you know, that look like boys, but have on the feminine tops with the purses and all that. Fam, you is synonymous for that. But, you know, be yourself. Be, be you. Be, be, be you. So these are just little tips that I have encountered over my tenure in this lifestyle, you know? And then once you find that person, once you find that person that you are compatible with mentally, spiritually, intellectually, um, uh, financially. Now, finance does make a difference. Uh, but my thing is for me, if you want to flip burgers, and that is what you love doing, baby, you flip them motherfucking burgers to the best of your goddamn ability because I want you to be happy. Because oh, I got another Facebook message. But when you happy, I'm happy. When you happy, that means we got a happy household. When you happy, that means I get my dick or my ass. So everybody needs to be happy in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So, that that that's all I'm saying. So who I got a Facebook? I don't know who this F is, but you know, hey. Anyways, this is my little tidbit about, you know, dating and the homosexual, bisexual, and some of this may even apply to the straight community. So, once again, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. I'm going to try to recap everything. Know yourself first. Be yourself. Know what you want sexually and do not compromise. Uh, don't put on airs. Represent yourself well. We're going to do a part two because there's other shit that I got to talk about. But once again, thank y'all for tuning in to What's the Tea with Sebastian Bonet. I'm Sebastian Bonet. Please follow me on Twitter, which is twitter.com slash Sebastian Bonet. And at my website, I'm a denoted photographer, um, at what's tea photography.com. Once again, y'all be well. Hit me up on, leave your comments, please, on YouTube. Subscribe to me. Try to get more popular. Think I'm intellectual. I think I provide, you know, comedy as well as education, all that good stuff, you know. So do this. Click this button. Don't click this button. Click this button, not this button. Leave your comments on YouTube. Thank you all so much. Y'all have a good night. I'm about to hit the Parliament House or whatever. And God in Orlando let my hair down. See, I'm not presenting airs. 
to my lovely family of the Bonets. I love y'all. Much love. It's Happy New Year to everyone. Merry Christmas. If I don't do another video before then, I love y'all so much. And I don't know if I even have fans. I think I do. It's little me from little country town. I got fans. But anyways, let me go ahead and dush. Or please, y'all see my video. Because you never know what you may run into, honey. You never know. I'm single and I'm ready to mingle. Anyways, y'all be good and I'll holler at you later. Ciao. Bye. What's the tea? I heard you wanna. What's the tea? Heard you wanna. The tea. Like me. What's the tea? What, what, what? What's the tea? What's the tea? I heard you wanna. Walk like me. Walk like me.